Hi, this is Chris Shavako. In part four of our six-part series, we will review credit cycles and problems with balance sheets to gain a better understanding of why the Fed is attempting to reinflate asset prices. A fair question may be, why is the Fed printing all this money and what are they trying to accomplish? A common problem around the globe is weak balance sheets from consumers to corporations to municipalities, all the way up to Uncle Sam's asset and liability ledger. There are two basic ways to address weak balance sheets. You can attack the asset side of the ledger or the liability side of the equation. During recessions, bad debt is typically removed from the system when entities go out of business and default on their debts. This is a painful part of a recession, but it is necessary to allow capital to reform, which eventually leads to new investment and sustainable economic growth. That's the hard way to tackle the problem and the way based upon the natural laws of supply and demand. It's also the way based upon the laws of free markets. The hard way to address our problems with balance sheets is to let those who deserve to fail go out of business. Unfortunately for the country's long-term outlook, the hard way or short-term pain does not sit well with those in positions of power, especially politicians who are always concerned about the next election. To understand all the bailouts, government takeovers, and money printing, you basically need to think about powerful people in business and in government who are simply trying to stay in power, regardless of whether or not their actions are in the best long-term interests of shareholders, taxpayers, and ordinary, hard-working citizens. These comments are general in nature and do not apply to the select few in positions of power who still make decisions based upon sound principles and integrity. A larger copy of this chart can be found at this web address or by conducting this Google search. This chart shows a healthy credit market and economy. Banks lend, consumers and businesses borrow to invest and consume, demand based upon available credit boosts asset prices and profits. As asset prices rise, balance sheets strengthen. With healthy balance sheets, Businesses and consumers feel wealthy and thus borrow more, invest more, and consume more. This is known as the wealth effect. As asset prices rise, the collateral backing the loans remains sound, allowing the banks to lend even more. And around and around we go until credit causes the creation of too much supply. Think overbuilding in the housing market. Then, asset prices begin to fall. Now, the wealth effect becomes the reverse wealth effect. As consumers, businesses, and banks begin to see their balance sheets and net worth deteriorate. When the Fed lowers interest rates, they attempt to spur borrowing and lending, as shown in the two highlighted boxes. This, in turn, can get the wealth effect back into gear as borrowed money creates demand for goods, services, and assets. In the present day, traditional banks are reluctant to lend, and many consumers either don't want a loan or cannot get a loan. In this environment, the Fed, via quantitative easing, is trying to spark the wealth effect by attempting to reinflate asset prices. Using another extreme, an admittedly unrealistic example. Let's assume on a Sunday, the U.S. government announced that the value of all residential real estate would be doubled as of Monday morning. This would make the asset side of balance sheets look quite a bit better. Since that concept is outrageous, the Fed is attempting to produce similar results by inflating the money supply. This video is part of a six-part series of videos on quantitative easing. You can access all six videos via the QE videos link on our homepage. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you have any questions or potentially have an interest in taking the next steps in the process, please don't hesitate to contact us, either via email or phone. You can find our contact information on our website at www.shivacocapital.com. We wish you nothing but success in your professional, personal, and investment endeavors going forward. Thanks for coming by, and have a great day. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational purposes and is not to be construed as a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any securities or related financial instruments, nor should any of the content be taken as investment advice. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice and Shivaco Capital Management LLC or CCM is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. CCM and its respective officers and associates or clients may have an interest in the securities or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. CCM accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. We recommend that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision.